Hello everyone, welcome back to Unmole Astrology channel. Now this video is about Sarasati for the natives with 10th house moon. Now firstly, let me tell you that the results of Sarasati are, there are fundamental results and then there are results based on one's own chart. So fundamental results says that the first phase is always the bad, the peak phase is the worst, and the last phase a person starts getting things back. But this is actually not fundamentally true for everyone. Most of the people can experience this way, but most of the people do not. So that particular thing is dependent on which planets this Saturn is transiting at the time of your Sarasati and also which houses Saturn is transiting. It is also dependent on the condition of your moon and condition of your own Saturn. Okay, so let's just get started with the explanation part. So now we are going to start with, you know, moon in the 10th house. Right, so Sarasati starts when Saturn is going to transit in your 9th house. Then for 2.5 years, it is going to be in the 9th house. Then for 2.5 years, it is going to be over your moon in the 10th house. Then it is going to be in the ninth, in the 11th house. So I would not categorize because earlier, uh, I think two to three days ago for someone, uh, uh, you know, I posted the video for moon in the 9th house in Sarasati. And I think I told in that video, I said that... Um, it is not going to be as bad as other people will have. So someone commented that they had the worst Sarasati with moon in the ninth house. So I just wanted to make this thing clear that when I say that it is not going to be as bad as other, uh, you know, other placements, that is a very generic situation that I'm talking about. Because of course, everyone has dif different you know, combinations of moon, maybe a person is being, uh, a, a person's moon is being aspected by a lot of planets, or maybe it is hemmed by a lot of planets. Like, for example, it is moon can be conjunct with other planets like Jupiter, Saturn, even with Jupiter, you would see you would not have the best of the Sarasati, right? Jupiter's aspect would still consider as the better one but the conjunction there could be a that could be a very very heavy sarasate and if not that then it is possible that if moon is in the ninth house then 10th house or 8th house is highly afflicted by the placement of you know mars rahu ketu the malefic planets because of which the moon is not in the best condition and then the sarasate happens so that's why there are a lot of conditions. But on a generic level, ninth house moon, since it is the original domain of Jupiter, it is still protected by wisdom. It is protected by, you know, the fortune that you get because it's the actual house of fortune. So that is just a very generic statement. You need to yourself look for the placements, the condition of that moon. Okay. So for this individual, first, when Saturn comes, the Sarasati comes, a few things are going to activate for them. And most of the events are going to be related to your career. If there is going to be a significant career change or there is going to be a starting of your career. But definitely, definitely the three steps that you are going to have in your Sarasati for seven and a half years long. It is first you would get yourself educated with some higher knowledge, higher education, then you would, you would work towards your career that will not be, you know, uh, that is going to be full of obstacles. So that is not going to be very hunky dory kind of situation. And then you will definitely get recognized for your actions, but that could come after a lot of criticism. So that is going to be there, but still, this particular Sarasati for you is going to be the one where your moon is going to feel distant. You are going to get that reality check with your surroundings, with your career. And most of all, 
by the end of this sarasati you would start getting recognized you know by other people who might have criticized you earlier so for in the first phase what will happen is a pressure is going to build up that is going to be maybe because of education or maybe long distance travel so there could be a situation that you might travel to a distance for away from your homeland because of that you would feel detached and you would be very much attached towards higher learnings now ninth house is not just about higher learnings which are associated with academics but it is about you experiencing such things in life that are going to be like the, those things are going to teach you lesson for your life right so when ninth house saturn comes in it does delays things for you it is going to delay travel it is going to delay education it maybe you would want to go for an exam it might not clear in the first go but you will definitely be able to clear it later down, down the lane maybe in the second third fourth attempt i remember one person a client of mine i remember very vividly that that particular person had a moon in the 10th house and this when his sarasati started he was he actually was giving i think mbbs entrance exam and he was not able to get in the first go and not even in the second go in the third go he was able to do that so it was very pressurizing time for him and you know when saturn is 12th from moon and that 12th from moon is the 9th house the pressure most of all or the restless nights the sleepless nights are there because of your uh, education right so that is going to be the case for you as well since 9th house is also about fortune so once fortune also get delayed you don't get things easily in life so you'll have to do something or you'll have to learn a lesson before you get that fortune in life right now this saturn's third aspect is going to be on this 11th house now what was i trying to say that if nothing is going to come easy everything is just going to take some effort some you know things from you you have to put your effort you have to put up courage you have to show courage towards that house so your recognition academically is going to happen only if you put a lot of efforts towards that area so that's why the third aspect of saturn is going to make you work really really hard towards getting recognized and at the same time there could be a lot of distance between you and your uh, social circle your friends because your most of the time of your life is going towards your higher education right and also you would see that because of travel because of a significant travel also you might might find a distance because of your uh, you know with your close friends or your close relatives right now the seventh aspect from this actually goes into the third house so this is the seventh aspect that means that your skills your learnings are going to help you with this process what saturn wants but you know saturn is a restrictive planet it puts the heavy heaviness within that house and it also restricts that house for this time you would see that you feel very restricted within your subconscious mind you feel the restriction of things because suppose if you are learning something you know if you are preparing for an exam or if you are going for a higher education you are going to isolate yourself you are going to go into that restrictive zone where you have to restrict yourself and you have to bound yourself to you know learn and do things for so much time you know like you um, taking so many hours for learning for studying and all of that and for those who are not 
into education for them this particular time period can be the load of your morals would come ahead there will be situations in your life which are going to test your action test your karma since this sarasati is driven by moon in the in the 10th house so your karma how you are doing things how you are reacting to situations what karma you are playing out as a part of your career or in the real life that is going to be something of significance that has to be played within this time frame right so the support areas are here and you would also see that your writing and publishing skills somehow would be required during this period and you would you know go online search for different things learn different things online so this particular transits works towards initiating your skills or refining your skills now the 10th aspect goes into the 6th house then again this is going to activate your debt you know 6th house is not just about monetary debts but it is also about prarabdh karma the debt the karmic debt that you have carried forward from your previous life so it's like that at this time your prarabdh karma also gets activated so i feel that this time whenever whenever for whomsoever saturn comes into the ninth house this time is not the best why because it activates the upacha houses the third house sixth house 11th house by its aspects and it's only the ninth house which is the house of fortune but the fortune never comes easy you know fortune only comes when you actually fulfill the desires of the upacha houses right so you will get a lot of things out of this timeline but for that you'll have to struggle you'll have to go through obstacles but the result can be very good for you only when your karma is correct because this is whom we are talking about saturn the planet of karma right now next will be the when 6th house it activates 6th house with its 10th aspect that means it would initiate debt or you would have to uh, you know pay off your debts i won't say pay off your debts but more so it activates your debt and if you have had any debt previously you might have to take care of that this also initiates the competitive life you know this competition could be in your workspace or this competition could be as a part of your exams okay but it's just that it will also resurface your enemies because the 10th aspect is there your karma and actions are going to play a vital role here so that's why all of this also you'll have to be very organized with your nutritions with your health okay so the simplest remedy for this transit would be that you you become very organized with your morals with your actions everything in your life has to have a particular time and it has to be organized it's whether it is about your health whether it is about what you are doing in your daily life your routine or whether it is about your actions towards the public towards outer society you just have to be disciplined and organized with that right then saturn is going to transit over your moon in the 10th house i won't sugar coat this particular thing but definitely this is a very very transformative time period for an individual see life for capricorns is never easy they have to struggle by themselves they have to put in their hard work they have to work around because capricorn is the natural natural sign the 10th house is the natural house of hard work karma and working towards others working towards people so this that's why this is the sign of sacrifice as well you have to sacrifice yourself to fulfill the choices and desires of others so this time period will put a lot of load over your moon this would also restrict you maybe also make you cold emotionally 
you might not feel very open with your emotions because already moon in the 10th house is a very very struggling position you don't feel very comfortable with moon in the 10th house and for, for people with moon in the 10th house their peace of mind is very much dependent on the stability of their career so this time you may experience a major transformation within your work so you might you might choose something else there could be that you want to choose something else you have learned yourself when the saturn was in the ninth house you made yourself learn something as a part of your skills now when saturn is going to come into the 10th house now you will choose to act upon that skill maybe you talked or thought about a startup you now are going to start with that startup and when you start with that particular timeline then saturn coming over your moon it is going to make you very practical so moon in the 10th house first of all it gives a lot of waves a lot of ups and downs in the career now when saturn comes here it is going to suppress those ups and downs so it is no longer actually going to give you those ups and downs rather it is going to stabilize your career so this is a placement with you know is the scarlet letter placement you will have so good fruits of this placement but that is not going to come in easy you will get a promotion in if you are doing a job you might switch the roles within your job and you might take you know take up higher authority you might get promoted but at the same time you will have so much responsibility of that higher role on the other hand you might start something of your own and that in the initial stage you know it's always difficult to gel in with everything you see the reality of business you see the reality of work and society that is what is going to happen in the 10th house and if we talk about one's emotions emotionally this person is go actually going to stabilize themselves there's no longer going to be see saturn's mahadasha actually gives a lot of mood swings so mood swings are going to be there but the dependency on others the dependency of your emotions on your work is not going to be there you are going to actually make lot of practical choices during this time and you will feel very cold emotionally that's why you'll put up boundaries with your emotions you will not be that expressive and you will not let other people affect you emotionally and you would not react to situations by weakening your emotional state so this actually over the period of these 2.5 years you are going to feel way way better in terms of your emotions and stability right the process can be hey wired it can be a lot to take in but the result is very good okay so when saturn comes in the 10th house the first and foremost remedy is about organizing organizing your um documents go uh, which are government related because definitely there is going to be some karma that you have to play out with the government that's why always be organized with your documents and with with whatsoever you think can relate you with the government right and then you also need to be organized with your work with your efforts and also with your routine because 10th house is the karma you play out out in the public and also you have to be very careful of your image out in the public because when saturn comes into the 10th house so many people are going to be after you they can be there to demean you or they can be there to compete with you but you have to be very careful of your image within your workspace and within the society as well so try taking decisions after a lot of thinking and practical thinking right and also when saturn comes into the 10th house set aside some amount of your earnings towards the societal work or towards donation towards society okay then the third aspect of saturn goes into the 12th house so lots of efforts for maintaining sleep 
apologizing for my writing <laughs> right and also maintaining your subconscious mind you would see when saturn comes in over your moon and also the third aspect when it is on the 12th house that simply means that you will be unable to stabilize your subconscious mind all the time there's something or the else which is going around within your mind you would not find you would actually find it difficult to connect within your meditation to connect with your inner self your peace of mind so you'll have to work really really hard towards that if you want to travel or you have already traveled and you are waiting for something related to the foreign government maybe you are waiting for some work visa student visa pr anything of that sort that is going to take a you know disturb your peace of mind because of the delays which you are going to face that is going to disturb your peace of mind that's why there is going to be a lot of involvement within within those matters and there is going to be a lot of efforts that you have to make towards that matter okay now the third aspect of saturn also shows that you have to communicate with self communication with self it is very much necessary connecting with one's inner self and your inbuilt talents is very much necessary during this time right so you will be so involved within your work within your career that you might not take up any time for yourself because you know the travel that we take for, to relax to just you know get out of this busy schedule of ours that is the 12th house right so that's why the third aspect shows that you have to make a lot of efforts towards that area then the seventh aspect falls in the fourth house you will get a lot of support from your mother or your home environment your home government even even you might also uh, work from home during this time because nowadays work of home is a thing that's very popular among everyone right so there can be an opportunity to do so as well but this time can act as a very good and significant period for your career mark my words that's why i'm again and again mentioning that this is an important time for your career right and you would also be able if you have already been in a career and you are you wanted to buy a property you wanted to buy a home for yourself for the longest time this is the time when you are going to do that because seventh aspect of saturn on the fourth house means that you may get a property or you may gain from a property okay and then your the support support is going to be from your home environment so you should take some time to yourself sitting in your own space in your room and just relaxing that is very much necessary for a person with 10th house saturn right and fourth house activation also can initiate a uh, renovations within your home and then the 10th aspect on the 7th house a lot of karma with other people not just spouse not just relationships but other people that's why you'll have to be very careful with your image in public because 7th house is also about your image in public right so that's why whenever saturn comes into the 10th house 10th from it is 7th house so your image can get disturbed also within your relationship or within your marriage so you'll have to work really hard towards the marriage part connecting within the marriage within your relationship with your spouse you'll have to work really hard and that in a way is also going to put up a pressure or burden on your head and your interactions with other people you know you the criticism that you are going to get with from the public and even from the spouse is going to actually make you that cold hearted that we were discussing before okay so now lastly saturn is going to be in the 11th house now i won't say that since saturn activates the house of your desires you are going to magically get everything that is not there 
first when Saturn enters the 11th house, we know that Saturn, you know, it, it comes for 2.5 years. It has to go retrograde in between. Maybe once, maybe twice, it has to go there. And sometimes Saturn also cha changes sign, right? So you would see when Saturn is going to come into the 11th house, it will definitely initiate the desires part. It will initiate the recognition part, but it might not come in in the very beginning. For some people, it may also come in the very beginning, but that's very much dependent on how the condition of 11th house is. But when Saturn comes into the 11th house, first of all, it distances you with your social circle, right? It makes you uh, have a distance with your uh, French, friend circle, with your social circle. And it makes you work really hard towards your desires, towards fulfillment of desires. So everything that you have done for the previous five years, you are going to get the results for that particular time by activating your 11th house. But for this time, there could be some, uh, you know, uh, there could be some association with multinational companies because 11th house is about large organizations. So you will have to represent yourself in front of large population or large, uh, large organizations. And definitely you'll have an association with the, those, uh, you know, uh, uh, firms. It, it can be as a part of contractual work or maybe you are going to work into corporates. Right. And then in the very, I have most of all seen in the towards the very end of this transit of Saturn in the 11th house, people start getting that recognition get, if they want to get married their marriage can also get activated, right? Because 11th house is just about the fulfillment of desires. At that point of time in your life, your desires can be about your marriage life. It can be also about a child because seventh aspect of Saturn is going to be on the fifth house. It could even be about romance. So anything that you desire, that is going to come to you. But Saturn, it's Saturn. Saturn wants you to first be organized. So when Saturn comes into the 11th house, you your restriction is going to come in the 11th house. That's why restriction with the social circle. Then when restriction comes, then the focus also arises. So your focus is going to be on recognition, being recognized fulfilling your desires. So you're going to be very determined and focused. That's why you'll represent yourself in front of large population, right? And if you are about to get married, you would concentrate on getting married. You want to have a child, you'll concentrate on having a child. So your concentration or focus or determines are there towards what you desire, right? Now what happens is the third aspect of Saturn goes into the first house because you're so busy within your career and towards being recognized, you your health is something that you have to make a lot of efforts on. Right? There's a lot of efforts to be made on health, on one's self-esteem. Because see, when you represent yourself in front of you know, even you have a board meeting, you have to represent there, right? You have a presentation, you have to represent there. It's not just about being a film star, the 11th house Saturn. It's actually about that you have to present yourself in front of more than two people. That's the house of Aquarius. So for that, you will get bitters. That's very obvious. That's why and during this time, you have to work hard towards your self-esteem. You have to work hard towards your confidence and your efforts. You have to work on, hard on your personality. And somehow you will see that you'll start looking good. You'll start working on how you're looking. You'll be conscious of your image in public. Okay, then the seventh aspect goes on the fifth house. It can activate or initiate romance childbirth and also 
gains from speculation and also some fame not some fame i was actually about to say some something related to education or creativity and also significantly fame you know uh, the houses of fame uh, ever since i've been learning astrology most of all i've always heard that it's the 10th house it's the 11th house but in my research i've seen it's the first house and fifth house at the most then it is 10th house and 11th house and also 7th house so all of these act houses actually these are the houses of fame when they get activated in kp krishan murthy padati or by transits or by uh, maybe your or by your vimshotri dasha then you will see the effects okay so all of these things are going to get activated so it's an important transit for the fifth house as well now the 10th aspect would be on the 8th house you'll have to work hard towards your secrets towards your joint assets or maybe there's something related to your inheritance which will surface because of which you can either gain or lose it's just that your inheritance would surface you would have to deal with insurance money you'll have to work hard towards all of these areas because it's the 10th aspect of saturn and it it will give you some karma related to this house so this house gets restricted your karma has to play out there how you are going to take decisions towards the 8th house at when your saturn is in the uh, 11th house that is going to be very much dependent on either you gain from it or you lose from it okay guys so this was my analysis about you know sarasati for the natives with 10th house moon i hope this you know summarizes the situation for you for your sarasati if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and if you guys would like to have your personal readings you can check out the link below www.anmolastrology.com and under the reading section you can book a personal reading for yourself and considering about sarasati i also have option 8 available for sarasati that is just about your sarasati the way i explained it here in the 20 minutes audio is uh, sorry 20 minutes 30 minutes video that is also going to be very similar but that is going to be concerned about your chart only okay so if you guys would like to have it you can book it from the website see you in the next video bye bye take care